What is up guys? Welcome to the new video. So today was my first day of work. Uh, was work I worked for about four hours from two to six. Had an awesome time on my first day. Um, got to do, uh, I mean, you do a pretty good amount of stuff. Sometimes there's times where you don't really have anything to do at that moment. But then things kind of just will add up or whatever it may be. Um, got to drive around and pick up the balls on the range, which is kind of cool. Uh, but overall, successful first day. Excited about the entire experience that I'm going to have at this job. Uh, right now, just finished up eating. Just had some chicken and some pasta. Uh, just to give me some fuel for the workout that I'm about to go do and about to kill. Um, been waiting all day to go to the gym. I'm just so excited to go work out tonight for some reason. Shoulders and triceps going to have a crazy good workout. Just made the workout my notes. Posted it up on my Snapchat. Again, guys, if you do not follow my Snapchat, go follow it. Post the workouts every single day. Or almost every single day. Some days I won't if I'm doing kind of a repeat of one workout that I posted in the past. But again, shoulders and triceps, about to go destroy this workout. Gonna make it a quick one, but not because I have to, just because I want to. Gonna do the time in between and just get a good sweat going and just kill the workout, like I said. So please stay tuned for these clips. Enjoy this video, enjoy this workout. Take some notes, write down the exercises, and put them in your next workout routine for shoulders or for triceps or for both. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you after. Okay. So people should know.
almost making myself late to school. Um, it's just traffic was terrible. I don't know why, but either way, went to school today like normal. Left, have work. I just got back from work. Uh, overall, successful day. I'm kind of tired, but gotta go get that workout in again. Just I look forward to it now because normally I was getting my workouts at like one or two over the break. And now I'm having to wait later, so it kind of gets me like more hyped up for it. So excited to go work out. Probably gonna do some back and something else. Back and buys maybe my forearm is still bothering me. Um, but before I go, I kind of want to sit down and just talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I eat on the regular that I feel has helped me gain the body that I want and or the body that I've been trying to get and also to help drop body fat and still be able to fill yourself up and not be putting stuff in your body that's bad for you. So... I'm going to get changed probably for the gym, probably eat something, and then talk to you guys about those meals after I do that. Okay, so the first thing that I kind of want to jump into before I talk about the things that I eat that I feel help the most with dropping body percent fat, dropping weight, and gaining muscle, whatever your case may be, uh, I want to talk about uh, people's perspective on dropping body percent fat and how it can be wrong or how you even may be right. So... For most people, or a lot of people, think that to drop body percent fat, what you have to do is you have to eat right, which most people know that, but is to run and do a lot of cardio and things in that nature, like the bike, or treadmill, whatever uh, cardio or whatever you think cardio may be. A lot of people think that that is what they need to be doing to drop their body percent fat, and that's actually not the case at all. Um, for, for everybody, the best way to drop your body percent fat is to do about 70% it will actually 70% of it is weight training. 20% of it is going to be your nutrition. And then about 10% is going to be your cardio. If you want to do that, I prefer Stairmaster, honestly. But my whole point in that is that most people think that cardio is what they have to be doing to drop 5% fat. So they're going nonstop, running, burning those calories off, which is good. But to help drop that body percent fat, you need to gain more muscle during in the process of it. And so by doing that, you can drop that body percent fat, burn a lot of calories by weight training. Weight training is the best way to drop body percent fat on top of eating right and doing the things you need to be doing outside of the gym. Um, and to the next thing that I feel, of course, is the nutrition. And that's when I'm now I'm going to tell you guys about the things that I eat that I feel help the most. So almost on a daily basis, the first thing I eat when I wake up in the morning is a cup of egg whites and a cup of Jimmy Dean turkey sausages. You can get this at Kroger, Publix, or probably any grocery store that you guys go to. Uh, I do this and I eat this again probably four or five out of the seven days in a week. On the other days, I may have you know uh, two packets of maple brown sugar oatmeal or something in that nature, but... The best thing that I recommend for your breakfast in the morning is egg whites and Jimmy Dean turkey sausage. Great source of protein, low, low, low amount of fat, and little amount of carb. Now, the second thing I recommend for like a lunch is gonna be your um, is gonna be either like a chicken breast. I would say chicken breast. I do a chicken breast, and then do rice, black beans, or chicken breast rice and green beans chicken best rice and corn um, but to get that source of protein for most of my lunches I have a chicken breast a grilled chicken breast not fried grilled chicken breast and then throw in your sides to get some carbs and some of that other nutritional uh, th other nutritional things that are healthy for you in there so like I said chicken breast grilled chicken breast throw in some rice throw in some black beans corn whatever it may be but definitely do a grilled chicken breast and rice for sure and you can throw some else in there if you want now for dinner what i recommend is doing like a salmon uh salmon is definitely one it is my favorite fish to eat for sure it's a great source of protein and is really good for you uh the other day i had probably one of the favorite meals i ever had which was salmon um what did i have salmon rice and actually sweet potato fries now for me, I track my macros using my fitness pal. And so I'm able to look and see what I've ate throughout the day and how to adjust for my meals. So in the morning, again, if you eat egg whites or tur and turkey sausage, you haven't really had any fat. So you can eat a little bit for lunch. But let's say you're planning on going out to eat and you know your meal is going to have a little more fat. you got to adjust throughout the day. So when I have sweet potato fries, I kind of see that sweet potato fries have a little more fat than some of my other meals do. 
So I just know that I'm gonna have to adjust and make better better decisions on what I eat throughout the day so I don't get my fat above where it needs to be. So for example, today um, I had sweet potato fries while I was at work. And so those sweet potato fries got me up to about 60 grams of fat, I think, total in the day. And I can only have a total of 68 grams of fat. So now I have to make the decision or before I ate it, I, I kind of saw, I kind of looked to see what I was at. I saw that it would get me there, still ate it, which is fine. But now I know what I have to eat for the rest of the day um, to make sure I don't go over that fat or the, the amount of fat that I need in one day. So what I'm probably going to have the rest of the day is going to be um, salmon. I'm going to my nana's to eat salmon. And then I'll probably just have some rice. And then I'll have to finish up the day with a protein shake and not really put anything in it, not peanut butter, especially because peanut butter has a lot of fat in it, even though it is good for you and does have some protein. But again, guys, egg whites and turkey sausage, breakfast, chicken breast, rice, and black beans or corn for lunch. And then for your dinner, throw in salmon, do some rice again, but do a different kind of rice, like yellow rice, brown rice, and then um, maybe sweet potato fries to kind of give you more of a flavor, add a little bit more fat onto your diet and still be able to have some good foods. And in between those meals, have protein bars, protein shakes, even meal replacement shakes that are only like 130 calories. I've been eating, uh, drinking those. And just snack on some things that are good for you. Banana, apple, clementines. Um, and actually today, something I'm going to be throwing in my shakes too that my mom got me is this peanut butter powder. It is... 50 calories, okay, so serving size is two tablespoons, uh, calories is 50, total fat is 1.5, and there is six grams of protein just in those two tablespoons. So I'll probably do four tablespoons when I throw these in my shakes. But those are the things that I eat, guys, and that's what I uh, put in my body throughout the day that I feel has helped me out the most these past few weeks and just really helps with dropping your body percent fat on top of the weight training that you guys need to do to help drop that body percent fat as well. So those are my tips for you guys. I hope you guys maybe wrote some things down, got something out of this, and definitely start changing what you're eating throughout the day and jump into some weight training if you're not doing weight training and just doing cardio. Thank you guys. I hope you guys stayed and watched through this if you did. I appreciate you. Uh, right now, I'm about to go to the gym, get a back workout in, and uh, just finish up the night. Going to go have salmon, like I said, and just enjoy the rest of my night. Got to get this video edited so I can post it up tomorrow. But... Again, going to the gym, going to have successful workouts, so stay tuned for these clips. Yeah. <laughs> 